Hello, my name is Brian. And uh, for my story challenge today, we're talking about the law. So let me tell you a story first. Uh, I've been stopped by a traffic uh, policeman when I was talking on the phone while driving. Uh, very, very bad thing to do and uh, a good way to get yourself into a lot of trouble. So don't do that at all, ever. Uganda is a very, very interesting place to be. It's a good, warm people, lovely weather. It's a very, very beautiful place. Uh, and we're famed for having some of the best laws. We've, we've really taken time to write down some of the best laws for this nation. And they work really, really well. One of those laws that I particularly find very interesting is traffic. Because I've been an offender myself, but also because I drive, which means every day I get presented with the opportunity to keep the law or to break the law. I also get to see every day a traffic officer keeping the law or as they like to excuse themselves these days, breaking the law. Here's how we break traffic laws in Uganda officially. A traffic man will divert traffic through a red light. And he will say that by law he's authorized to overrun the light. The traffic officer takes precedence to the traffic light. So, out of my driving experiences in my country, I have countless times driven through a red light. And I've honed and screamed and shouted at the frustration of two green lights just going, well, silently, but you stay in one place. And because there's a traffic officer uh, overrunning the lights. That's a very, very interesting concept because we should keep the law, right? And we don't have enough traffic officers to be at every junction. So this very good invention called the traffic light helps to keep the law at the junction. And when we don't use the traffic light, we break the law. But what's better? For us to train the officer for the law, to overrun the traffic lights, or for us to train our drivers to learn how to use the lights. And so, what's even better? Do we, do we go back to our drivers before they get the driving permits licensed and everything? Do we just go and teach uh, aspects like defensive driving, uh, patience, maybe gentleness, or simply very very rare on Ugandan roads kindness just a touch of kindness to you know stop the car and let the children cross the road uh, on a zebra crossings and you know, don't park at bus stops if you don't have to and uh, yes wear your seatbelt and some of these should not really be about the law they should be about a standard higher than the law a standard that says I want to be a good road user, a fair road user, but also I want to be a road user who doesn't make it hard for other drivers to stay on the road. And that should be something that we should look forward to as Uganda. In fact, that is something that all drivers should challenge themselves to, to, to be drivers who drive, not because there's a traffic policeman, not because there's a traffic light, not because there's a penalty and a law, but because there are virtues that are higher than the law. Thank you.